Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. Thank you all for joining us. We love having you learn with us. I'm with Brian today, and as you can see, we're standing in front of a Sugami machine. I learned previously, doing this live in other places, what these numbers stand for, and we're gonna go over that, but we're also gonna go over the fact that it's multitasking, flexible, easy to use, easy to learn, reliable, and then the service and support that obviously comes from the famous Morris Group that's backed when you invest in this Sugami machine. So Brian, let's talk about Sugami as an overview and go, what can I use it for? Where can I use it? Why can I use it? How can I use it? When would a customer go, I'm gonna call Brian and look at Sugami? So Sugami platform comes into play when you have like very high production parts, especially for the Swiss line. Um, these machines are highly accurate. They're heavy machines. They can do really aggressive depth of cuts. Uh, multitasking is standard on these machines. You always have a machine that has live tooling capabilities. Um, the options come into play when you talk about your subside machining. Uh, if your subside does not have any live tooling needs, you can buy a, a five-axis platform just to complete the, the machining on the subside. Well, I've definitely seen some really cool machining on these machines. I'm sure you have as well, probably even more so than I, where parts are falling off every five seconds, three seconds, 12 seconds, depending on the part, obviously. And the goal that most of us have these days is to be able to get a precise part off that we can count on and keep this machine running all the time. And Sugami's famous for that, isn't, aren't they? It is. Um, every Sugami comes standard with thermal compensation. Um, so. We can adjust this machine to the environment that it runs in. So from the moment you start up in the morning till the time it, it stops at night, we can hold a consistent size throughout the day. That is important to understand, and I did not know that previously, so thank you for conveying that message. That's pretty cool. Now, I want to talk about the importance of being able to do multiple operations in one machine. We mentioned multitasking, right? Sure. And what happens when we have to do this a part on three different machines, where we have maybe an operator error, where we have the slowdown of switching from machine to machine. The value that comes into a machine like the Sugami that allows us to take three, four, sometimes even more operations and combine them into one. What kind of value do you think that brings the customer? So if you think about it from a value perspective, on every Sugami, we, like I said, we have a main path and a sub path. And while the main side is running, the sub side could be machining simultaneously. So you have what they call overlap. So on a standard traditional lathe, when you have one turret, one main, one sub, it's total time between both spindles. But because we can do simultaneous machining, we can actually reduce our cycle time greater than 50% based upon part geometry and uh, part process. That is so true. Now I want to talk a little bit with you, Brian, about what it means to know when you work with Sugami, when you work with Morris, to know when that part comes off, it's going to be correct because, especially here in the U.S., we want to be able to take that third shift, move them all, all the people to second shift, but still run a third shift, being equally as productive, come in on the following morning or the weekend and go, I can, ca I can measure a part and know I'm going to have all good parts coming in the next day because not everywhere we look do we see that same reliability. That is correct. Uh, when you partner up with Morris, we help you take your project from start to finish. Um, standard training, every machine comes with you know, four or five days of training. Uh, we'll help you set up your first part, we'll help you understand the programming aspect behind it. Even for first time Swiss users, we have your back from start to finish. So by the end of, the, by the end of our training, we'll have your part up and running and you'll be making good parts you know, for multiple shifts. I like hearing that, I like hearing that you have people's back. And speaking of being comfortable, I look at the software here, this is a familiar and comfortable interface as well. So whether it's an existing customer or a new customer investing and working with Morris and working with Sugami, it's already got some familiar aspects to it along with you having their back. So this, comes, this B0205 Mark III comes standard with a FANUC OITF control. Uh, this is actually, they've upgraded to the TF Plus to give it that familiarity of a 31 or a 32 series. But you'll see this control on multiple platforms uh, multiple uh, machine builders. So the familiarity of this control is one of the great uh, aspects of this machine because most customers already know how to use the control. We teach them how to use the machine. 
Absolutely fantastic. I think it's important for me to humbly understand that you are the expert here. Not always do I ask every question that needs to be asked for the audience to go, man, I need that machine, right? Or man, I need to talk to Brian and figure out, do I need that machine? So I always like to leave the, these conversations open at the end to just ask you, Brian, are there any questions that I haven't asked that you think the audience would love to hear more about that they're going to go, wow, that I didn't know that before, or wow, I need to give Brian a call, or you know what, I knew that already, I just want to give Morris a call because they're my friends, whatever it might be. Yeah, I mean, you know, for this machine, most people don't know this machine weighs in at 4,400 pounds. It's a very heavy machine for such a small platform. We have 10,000 RPMs on the main, 10,000 RPMs in the sub for doing small part turning. You get five turning tools on the main spindle, four live tools in the main spindle, you have four face holders for the main spindle. And when you go to the sub side, we have four additional tools for doing all your back, your back turning. So this is a great, great platform for small parts. You know, if you want to look at something flexible, you know, we do have a lot of flexibility within this machine as well. Brian, I think that's a great way to close this conversation when we talk about flexibility and multitasking and the ability to do so many operations in one. I think you've nailed it and you've said it a couple of times now. I haven't said it out loud, so I'll reiterate as well. When you talk about the weight of the machine and the base, I have seen some fragile machines that vibrate on the floor and just don't have the rigidity as necessary, even for small parts. Sometimes we don't think about that. So thank you for bringing that up a couple of times so the audience also realizes the base of these machines are so, so very important when it comes to that overall reliability for years and decades to come.